So I kind of have to talk about this. I'm at Locals, right? But hey, you know, ban list is out, right? Big deal. Got to talk about it. And some of it is what we expected. We did get the unrestriction of the Inlet Pulse and the Dark Strain for Standard. So that is actually very interesting. World is coming up very soon. So that means uh, there might be something that people might bring instead of Youthberg, right? So that's pretty big. But the main thing that we were looking for is, was there any any changes in V Premium and Premium? And there are. So on V Premium side, we have the Piano Man is banned. So uh, Amusements, Mellow Amusements Colossus is banned in both V Prem and Premium. And then also in a Premium, the Stunverse Dragon is restricted to one. So you can still play it, but you can't spam the crap out of it. And these will all be in effect for Worlds. So let's kind of talk about the the Greek Chronicle stuff first, right? So in V Premium, uh, Steam Maiden is the best deck right now. It is the, the the top deck, like like by far. And I think people might say that this probably doesn't hit the deck enough. And I have to say maybe, right? Maybe I think there's still a lot to discuss. Steam Maidens will definitely still be one of the best decks out there. But in terms of like, can other decks keep up with it right now? Maybe it can, maybe it can. It got turned down a notch. Uh, but, you know, for Worlds, people can still bring it, but, you know, at least other people might think, you know, maybe Luan has a chance now, maybe Gerd has a chance. The main thing is that you have no plays where you can just, on your first grade 3 ride, go into the, uh, the, the Colossus and force a 2-card guard. And then also, you can't, even with the two Force Markers, you can't, uh, if you play the Colossus, usually your opponent always has to guard with two, two cards, unless they get, like, two damage triggers, right? Uh, but now, even if they get one, they have a good chance of at least guarding and probably surviving. So, it's actually a hit that I think is probably correct. I think a lot of people, we don't have a lot of time until Worlds. We can't just totally nuke a deck out of existence and then expect people to be able to, you know, not feel bad. A light hit is just enough and allow, and light hits basically mean that there's enough time for players to, to quickly test and adjust to see if they still want to play the deck or, uh, you know, Maybe they just don't, right? Maybe they just don't. The other hit in premium, though, I think this is quite interesting. So, the we, we kind of did predict a hit for Narukami, right? Narukami quite ahead in terms of representation. In terms of power level, I don't think it's that hard. Like, that, 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 like, dominating, right? But it's still a very good deck. And what the Stunverse hit does is it prevents you from spamming the crap out of Stunverse. Now, a lot of people say that Exterminate is the problem, right? Sweep Exterminate is too strong. But the reality is that Stunverse is the real problem because it just allows you to play hyper lame games where you just sit there and just Stunverse until you hit three Stunverse. And yeah, a lot of people say, you never hit three stun verse, but I can guarantee you, you do, right? You actually do. You might even hit a fourth stun verse if you play extremely lame, right? But the three stun verse does happen, so it's definitely like a good hit. And then the Mellow Amusement Colossus, like you could say these kind of hard, you know, turn wide, uh, you know, guard restricts are very annoying and they shouldn't be in the game. And this is exactly what it's doing. It's taking it out of the game and making st a Steam Main is also one of the, the nice decks, the premier decks in premium, uh, just hitting it down a notch as well, which is quite good. It's quite good because, you know, if you hit Stunverse, you know, Narukami, what's the next best deck, right? Maybe it's Steam Maiden. And now without a check, without a check like, like a Stunverse, uh, then, you know, it's quite possible that, you know, uh, It'll just go out of control, but now not so much, right? Without the uh, without the Colossus, you know, the kill turn is now uh, more balanced, right? So I think those are quite good hits. The Stunverse has been a long time coming. Uh, coming, I know a lot of players hate it. Now you're forced to play it as either a setup card or it's a big card where you can get a lot of advantage later on. But you can't really use it as just repeatedly striding into it and getting, uh, you know, you can't deny it as well because it doesn't require any CB. Uh, and then you still have exterminate. You still have exterminate. So now Narukami players have to be, they have to like actually play the game to be able to get rid of your field, right? Which is a significant thing to do. So overall, I think these hits are quite good with Wells coming up very, very soon. Of course, they can't just nuke everything. And um, I'm actually quite excited to see what will be uh, what will be coming out at Wells, right? With these tiny hits, tiny hits. Uh, everyone, yeah, hope you all have a good year and I'll see you all uh, next year. All right, bye.